Well, hello, Aries, and welcome to your readings at the round table. What? I'm Jennifer. Um, this is my companion, Jasmine, who's licking her leg. It's really important. I mean, you get that, right? Mouse is in the other room. I know. I don't know what it is. Like, he comes in here and he checks on me and he eats out of his bowl. And then he's just like, you know what? You got, like, all the slights and shit in here. I can't. And then he's just like. <laughs> no, he's laying in the windowsill. <laughs> I think he's trying to soak up some sunshine because it's supposed to rain. So. <laughs> all right, Aries. This is a reading for the week of February 27th. And we're moving into March, moving into a new month this week. So really great because March is a busy month and we'll get into that in another video. But March is a super, super busy month. So I just want to go ahead and prepare you that this may be a busy reading. So I'm doing something a little different today. Um, I'm going to pull from these cards and then I'm going to read off of them. Um, one of my friends, she's so awesome. She's actually, she's a reader, but she just does it for herself and her friends. She's really good, actually. Um, she does readings like this for herself, and I really was digging it. So I was like, I'm going to try that on my show. I'm going to hijack your stuff. I'm going to, I'm going to get out there and use it. So this is in tribute to my friend. And um, she still hasn't told me if I could use her name yet, so I'm waiting on that text to come back. Mm. So if you watch your, your moon or rising sign, if this is your sun sign, you may hear me say her name on another one. So by the way, let me do my disclaimer. This is a general reading, Aries, so if it resonates with you, that's great, and if it doesn't, that's okay too. Make sure you check out your sun, moon, and rising sign because sometimes you'll resonate more with your moon or your rising sign than, more than you do your sun sign. Okay, now that being said, so I'm using some different cards, Aries. I'm using the Alice in Wonderland deck. <gasps> Ooh, she's pretty. I like that. I am using the Oracle of the Seven Energies deck. Wowzers. I'll show these to you in just a second, too. Um, I am using the... Archangel Oracle deck. This one happens to be Archangel Uriel. Uh -huh. And the last one you've seen before on here. Oh, yeah. Angels and Ancestors by Kyle Gray. So, I'm running out of room. And you know how I am. Okay. So, let's, let's get a read off of these. And I'll switch the camera so that you can see more, you can see properly. So this one, I love, love, love this Alice in Wonderland deck. This card is number 44. You can't go back to yesterday. Be in the present. Okay. Um, the second one is Roots of Abundance. And hey, it's a two card. And that's Root Chakra. Um, the third one is, you know what to do, Archangel Uriel. Trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. Wow. And the last one, the wise one, grow within your current situation. Okay. I am totally digging this. Um, so really what I see for you, Aries, is that for some reason, you're not trusting your current root system. You're wanting to go back and, like, correct something. Like, fix something that you feel like is a mistake. Or fix something that you feel like is, um, should have been done differently. Or you coulda, woulda, shoulda. You can't. Be in the present. I mean, let me tell you something. I can coulda, woulda, shoulda my past to death. I mean, because in my 20s, oh, God, what an ass. I was just horrible. Believe me, I've paid for it. But the thing is here is that you can't go back. Be in the present moment and understand that you are really where you're supposed to be. You are. 
roots of abundance, you've put down some pretty strong root system. You've got a solid, solid base here. The thing is, your roots are not going to go anywhere if you continue to grow up. If you continue to grow up like a tree, if you continue to branch out, your roots are not going anywhere. They're only going to get stronger. Your roots are not going to abandon you just because you grow up and stretch out. You've got some solid roots here. So continue to grow, continue to grow and continue to branch out. There's nothing wrong with that. And I feel like this growing up and branching out would help correct anything that you feel like you've done in the past that you need to correct. Archangel Uriel, you know what to do. Trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. I should have put my glasses on, but I didn't because I'm being weird. Um, I think this is great advice. I think this is great advice. Whatever it is that's holding you back, whatever it is that you're saying to yourself, like, I can't do this. I can't do this. I've messed up in the past. I've messed up and, you know, I can't do this. I can't do this now. This is Archangel Uriel saying, um, no, I think you need to trust this and I think you need to move forward. I think you need to, I think you need to take action. You know where you need to go. You know what you need to do. And this last one, oh my gosh, this is so perfect. The wise one, grow within your current situation. Grow within your current situation. How perfect is that? Continue to grow off of what you have already established. Continue to grow off of these roots. Continue to reach higher and spread your, spread your limbs out. Continue to grow and move. This does not say stay stagnant in your current situation. No, it does not. It says to grow, move forward. Let's see what else shakes out. So I don't know what's going on here, Aries, and I think March is going to be such an incredible month for all of us. I mean, seriously, March is a month of many changes. We have Pluto moving into Aquarius, and Pluto has been camped out in Capricorn for years. We have Saturn moving into Pisces. Again, this Saturn's been in Aquarius for like two, two and a half years. Um, we have Mars finally moving out of Gemini. Ah, been so ready for that. And we have Venus moving from Aries into Taurus. And Venus loves being in Taurus because Venus rules Taurus. So not that it didn't enjoy being in Aries, but you know what I'm saying. And then we have Mercury skipping all over the place. We have Mercury going from Aquarius to Pisces to Aries all within 20 days. So this is, this is a pretty intense month of change and turnover. And this could be really the month where you, you choose to grow where you are. Oh, yeah. There's so many good things waiting for you. There's so many good things waiting for you here, Aries. And this is what I love. Okay, the Ten of Cups. Holy crap. I mean, you can't get any better than this. The Ten of Cups is like bringing you happiness in your home, in your family, in your life. And if you have a happy home and a happy family, seriously, everything else seems to click into place. Look at that. Everything else is falling into place because they're happy. I love this. The Knight of Swords. Okay, this makes sense why you're supposed to take action. Because the Knight of Swords is the fastest moving energy in the tarot, at least in the court cards. One woman's opinion. This is some fast moving energy. Okay, so look at that and just see you're supposed to follow where you're being led. You're supposed to follow and say, okay, I know what I'm supposed to do. Do it. Follow without delay. 
When spirit is showing you where you need to go, don't focus on what happened in your past. Don't focus on that. Be in the present. Understand that you have a solid root system. You are going to be supported here. And take off. You know what you need to do. Do it and grow within your current situation. And then you're going to get the opportunity to stand down. You're going to get the opportunity to, I don't want to say hibernate. That's not correct. But I, I would say take a load off to take a rest. You're going to get the opportunity to do that. You absolutely are. Oh my gosh. I am loving this reading. I have got to thank my friend for giving me this spread. Because it's exactly what she does for herself when she reads. Is she pulls like four to six cards from different decks. Just one card from each deck. And I'm like. That's very interesting. I think I could do that. And I was really worried that I wouldn't be able to do it on the show. But. Okay. I feel like these cards are upside down. And since I don't read upside down cards. Yeah. It's going to be fun. I'm going to have to separate them all out. <laughs> and it's just a choice. I don't read reversals. But that's just. My preference, it's not a hard and fast rule here, people. The Ace of Feathers. Three of Crystals. And the Four of Feathers. Oh my gosh, okay. This is really great because the Four of Feathers is the sister card. It's more than a sister. It's very much like the Four of Swords card in this deck. Um, the Four of Feathers is Sanctuary and Rest. That's very interesting. So we start out here with the Ace of Feathers, um, which is mental clarity and foundation. You know what you need to do. Um, the second card is the Three of Crystals, which is uh, collaboration and productivity. And the next card is the Four of Feathers, which is Sanctuary and Rest. Oh my gosh, Aries, this is such a phenomenal reading. This is so awesome. I love this. So the Ace of Feathers, um, mental clarity and foundation. You finally are seeing exactly what you need to do. You're going, okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. This is what I want to do. This is where I need to go. And I don't know if it's because Jupiter and Mercury are going to be in your sign. Well, <clears throat> and Venus for half the month. Um, for a few days out of the month, you're going to have Jupiter, Venus, and Mercury all in your sign. Not to mention, the sun moves into Aries in, um, in March. We also have the new moon in Aries. So this may get, be giving you a lot of clarity. This may be why the angels are lighting that lantern. Do you see that? Why the angels are lighting, lighting this up and spotlighting this for you and saying, okay, this is the way that we need to go. This is what we need to do. You know, follow it. Follow it. Listen to the guidance that you're being given and follow it. Um, and the second card, the Three of Crystals, collaboration and productivity. This isn't just a collaboration with someone here in the physical Aries. This could be a collaboration with spirit. This could be you listening to your spirit guides and saying, oh, I know. I know that's what I need to do. Like, I'm good. I got it. This is fantastic. Um, and it, it's also, it, it's also um, productivity. Why, why are they highlighting this? Hang on, hang on. It's you're doing good work. Holy crap. Yeah, you're doing really good work here. You're making things happen because you're, you're growing in your situation you're growing in this current situation that you're in you're learning from it you're growing in it I love that I love 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 that so the four of feathers sanctuary and rest again they're going to after you've done all this work after you've moved through all these problems I think you're going to see that the other end of it is not as 
hard as you thought. So I don't know if you're looking for another job, if you're getting into a new relationship, or if you're moving, if you're looking at um, like transitioning homes or like moving in another direction. I think, I think that this is, um, whatever it is that you're moving through, it's not going to be as difficult as you've built up in your mind. It's not. And it's not going to be as difficult as I feel like other people have told you. I think that you're going to enjoy and embrace whatever this is that you're doing. This new job, this new home, this new adventure, this new relationship, whatever this is, I feel like you're going strong. I love it. I really do. And I think that, I think, first of all, I'm loving this spread. You're the first reading I've done this week for the Zodiac. I, I love it because I think it helps you to let go of some of the things that you've done in your past that have been a mistake or you felt like they were a mistake. I don't necessarily think that they were as much of a mistake as you feel like they were. The reason why I'm saying that is because Spirit has pointed that out to me. Like some of the things that I think were just colossal, huge mistakes in my past, they've shown me, especially over the last year, that it wasn't a mistake. It wasn't a mistake. It was an opportunity, not just for me, but maybe for somebody else that was in my circle at the time. You know, never know. All right, let's get some advice cards. What a great reading. Wow, Aries. And March truly is a busy month. And maybe this is because your ruler, Mars, is finally coming out of Gemini and going into Cancer. Because Mars is not like, I mean, it's not the worst place. Uh, Gemini is not the worst place for Mars, but he's not like the happiest when he's in Gemini. Mm. So, I know. We're looking forward to seeing something else. Oh, great. I can't believe this. Master Jesus, forgiveness. Forgiveness. I mean... Oh my gosh. You're just I can't I can't quite read it. I see something you are on you're on the path of light. I like that. I can believe that, Aries. My gosh, I'm like flipping, I'll take that one. I'm like flipping them all out. Okay, the lion power of self and leadership. You know, that's a natural place for an Aries is to be in a place of leadership. You're the first son of the Zodiac for Christmas sake. I, I mean, it's a, you're a natural born leader. I think it's important, especially for Aries to know, that they should be the central character, the lead person in their own movie, in their own story. Um, you should definitely be, yeah, the leading, the leading lady, leading man, whatever. You should be that leading character in your own story. And so usually Aries are really good leaders. I know, because I like to team up with Aries, to be honest with you. Myrrh. Oh, yes. Actually, I'm burning some myrrh right now. I'm burning, um, I'm burning incense, but I'm also burning, like, some myrrh. Mm, love it. Okay, now I definitely need my glasses. All right, so first advice card is Master Jesus, Forgiveness. 
You are on the path of light, love, and forgiveness. Father healing is possible at this time. So I, I do understand that the card is saying father healing, but I don't think it's just fathers. I think that this is like any sort of masculine energy in your life. Because, you know, as women, especially in the South, you know, we're taught a little differently to, you know, with our husbands, like to sort of put them on a pedestal, you know, that kind of crap, whatever. But the thing is, any kind of male masculine influence in your life, there's an opportunity for you to have the forgiveness at this time. Hmm. Okay. All right. The lion, power of self and leadership. The lion has learned to balance its immense power through practice. It knows that the use of gentleness requires great strength and power, but it won't hesitate to leap at opportunities or to defend itself when needed. I just want to repeat that. It won't hesitate to leap at opportunities. Get on it. I'm just saying. Um, it takes responsibility for for keeping peace by knowing the truth and living by it. <sighs> this is great. I think this is so freaking awesome. And the last of the advice cards is myrrh from the essential oils deck. Um, the emotional aspects of myrrh, it releases the absence of maternal connection. What is going on with you and your parents, Aries? It releases the absence of maternal connection and feeling unsafe. It instills a sense of feeling nurtured, safe, and protected. It creates a sense of safety, security, and trust. A sense of connection to the abundance of the earth and her capacity to provide for us. The centering thought, I am safe. I know who I am. I am connected to the healing power of Mother Earth. And the affirmation, why is it so easy to feel safe and connected? And the chakra is the root chakra. Shut up. Shut up. Why is it so easy to feel safe and connected? And there's your root chakra. Mm. Aries, I... You know, I would say that this is like my favorite reading for today, but the thing is, <laughs> you're my first reading for the weekly Zodiac readings. You're my first one this week. Um, I know what I usually do is I start, I, I do like in clusters, the cardinal signs, the mutable signs and the fixed signs. So today I'm starting with the cardinal. So this is really awesome. This is really an awesome thing. I don't know what your opportunity is. I don't know what's going on with you. I don't know if you have an opportunity for growth in your job, in your relationships, in your home, in like whatever this is that you're doing, your adventures, period. I think this is a wonderful place for you to jump off and just go and know that your root system has your back. Know that you have established a really strong root system and you can continue to grow where you are and you don't have to and if it's adventure that you're seeking your root system is going to be there as you continue to grow and branch out go for it thank you so much for joining me this week aries i so appreciate you don't forget to watch your monthly numerology which should be out by the time this video comes out mm, we'll see I know there's a lot of editing involved in this one because I kind of mess them up, but it's okay. I'll fix it. Thank you again for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. And until we see each other again, get out there and make your magic. Bye. Bye.